What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 69 through 72. Very, very excited to get deeper into Alabasta, deeper into Miss All Sunday, deeper into Crocodile. We got uh, Garp and oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm super excited. So without any further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut, unedited versions, as well as eight episodes ahead, early access, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this One Piece episode 69. Let's do it. All right, starting off on the going Mary. Oh yeah, we're going to Little Garden. Mmm, Sanji with the delicious cooking. It's so crazy having Vivi a part of the squad temporarily, you know, another girl. All right, the newspaper courier. What I love how it's like this pelican or whatever that goes everywhere. What news has been brought to us? Is it something about Alabasta? Is that why she's not telling her? Yeah, they recognize Kobe and Helmeppo. <laughs> of course they do. That's the goat. The rat. Marine Navy Headquarters. I love his faith in his boy. Even though technically we're on opposing sides, you know. Look at all these ships. Is this the Navy Headquarters? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let me see everything. Oh, 200 two-finger push-ups? Oh, no wonder the marines are gangster honestly if kobe's even somewhat able to make an officer he's gonna be insane i didn't realize the amount of training they went through he's starting to lose some of that resolve he had <laughs> he's not like you and luffy you gotta put your life on the line You fight against yourself. That's kind of a bar. I like that. No. I get scared every time I see this dude. Uh oh, you shouldn't have said that. Now he's going to give you some crazy plan or something. I love his dapper 1930s detective in New York samurai that's with him as well. He's gangster as hell. Garp's gangster. So he is looking out for him. Interesting. I need to know more about that dude, and I need to know more about Garp in total. I mean, he's a gangster. He really is. She's mad her friends are gone. Oh, they didn't even get to say goodbye. I feel bad for the girl. I know. That's adorable, but also sad. I feel bad for the girl. With the two blooming sprouts that are Helmeppo and Kobe. I believe it after tanking a Morgan slash to his chest. I mean, yes. Yeah, right. So he's going to try to do something. I was going to say he's going to try to do something crazy, get himself some fame. But no, he's going to try to put on some muscle. Exactly what Kobe was saying. He's picking that up from you, my boy. 
Who picked it up from Luffy? Hells yeah. I respect it. Okay, tag team back at it. They're gonna get stronger. They're gonna get important quick. So this is how Kobe turns into Trunks and goes into the Dragon Ball universe. He gets Brawlic, and then he picks up that sword. Just kidding. They're doing some late night training. Damn, like they're doing chores and work all day and then training at night. You know, while Garp and Detective Samurai are watching. Okay, we've got a little montage. They're doing this day after day after day. Okay, look at these boys. I love seeing this. Shouts out to the hard work. I wanted to see the other wanted posters as well. I know you you can't say that out loud anymore, especially with where we're at. Maybe back at our old spot, but not here. How is he so big and sneaks up on him so many times? <laughs> yeah, Kobe, who's your friend? Ooh, that was the most serious look we've ever had on his face. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, he took him. He took him in a private area to ask them. Kobe's telling him the truth. He does. That's his whole life goal. Now, Mevo said this is a joint option. We're in this together. Okay. Time to put this boy's training to, to use. Look at them. Even though Garp will literally mop the floor with them. This is the ultimate test of resolve right here. Oh, they're willing to die for their goal of being Marines. Once you decide, there's no going back. Right? They're like, okay, these kids might be a little different. <laughs> He's literally crying of laughter as he tanks that punch and... So we had to test your mental resolve, and they absolutely are. <laughs> he beat the shit out of him. Don't tell anyone. Garp's the goat. Ooh. They are training. What the... <laughs> Does he have an armband on his arm We're trying to get some extra weight on there? Now he said, let me practice on there too. Now you know he's gangster. One hand for both of them. Hell yeah. Shouts out Garp and the 1930s New York detective samurai. That's the goat. I want to know what she saw. I mean, I know it was the picture of Kobe and everything like that, but she keeps looking at Vivi as if it was something about Alabasta. Maybe she's just thinking about the future little garden. Yep. Well, goddamn, talk about a first episode. All right, on to episode 70. Here we go. Oh, I think this might be one of the rare times I get to hear this theme not in the commercial cut. Touche. I'll keep that as my literal ironclad rule. Shouts out Sanji making refreshments. But it's crazy to think how in different areas of the Grand Line, it obviously makes sense. Different oceans have different temperates and areas like that climates. But the reverse mountain specifically with its magnetic forces really fucks stuff up. She's frustrated at how light they're taking the situation. 
Hey, we all need to relax sometime. Come on. We all need a breather every now and then, you know? It's definitely not nothing. I like that, the going merry. You're definitely not worked up over nothing. You're definitely worked up over something. Very valid, understandable. But, you know, can't be stressed out all the time. That just adds nothing but negativity in your life. I'm surprised in this show that it's just a dolphin, though. Not like a dolphin, snake, tortuga fucking thing that kills people, you know? Okay. It's a dolphin the size of 10 whales. That's more One Piece. That's more what I was expecting. Are we chasing the dolphin, hunting it? What are we doing? Are we baiting it? Why the... Gonna use the wave itself to somersault and launch ourselves just exponentially forward. Yep, ride the wave, literally. Okay, thank you, big dolphin man. I need to remember which way is port and starboard. I'm, I'm assuming port's left. Yeah, so starboard's to the right, port's to the left. And you have the stern and the bow. Which one's is the stern the front or the bow the front? I need to up my ship knowledge, especially if I'm gonna be watching a show like this. Come on. Little garden, we're here. Heck yeah. I wonder how many islands in the Grand Line, like, total, we're gonna come across. I wonder if I can keep count, you know? Is this what it looks like? This place looks fire. Never mind. This is the headquarters of Baroque Works. This is not Little Garden. Ooh, I've heard Earl Grey is actually fire. Shouts out Momo from My Hero. I'm butthurt. I'm butthurt that he said people will... F it, I'm, I'm butthurt. That's all I can say. True. Very much reminds me of Nen in that aspect. It doesn't matter how powerful your Nen is. It's all about the creativity and the usage of it by the person, you know? That's what I'm worried about. Because didn't she want us to skip over this island, but then Luffy broke the eternal pose? And you'll be dead. I remember them saying that now. So that does make me nervous. We have to, yeah. Sometimes she said, remember, it takes hours, could be take days for the log to store. I love how unique and different, like, the that is like the whole log pose, the magnetic hole between islands. It's so crazy, you know. <laughs> is that why they call this place Little Garden? It's like fucking Jurassic Park. This place is literally full of dinosaur looking creatures. Sound like a cannon explosion. Something crazy. All right, got a jungle tiger. Oh, that's a little bigger than I was expecting. I just got to assume in one piece that it's it's going to be a deranged creature and that is now dead. Uh, something tells me it's not going to work out that way, though. And they're dropping anchor. Well, that's because they're not going ashore. They're just going to sit on the ship that. Yeah. Curiosity killed the Luffy. You've heard the old saying. Something killed a, an already bigger than a normal tiger tiger. And <laughs> Luffy's excited. I mean, Karu does make for a quick get out of jail free card, you know. <laughs> Even Karu's like, wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. You see animals that appear edible? Cut them down, take them back. Oh god. I saw an RTTV <laughs> little clip of a debate they had the other day where they were talking about who's stronger, Sanji or Zoro, and they were just getting into it. And even Sanji and Zoro would have that disagreement themselves. That looks like a Pokemon. What is what is that Pokemon? It's like Kabutops and Omastar, right? The god. 
It looks like almost door. Sanji! Turn around, Sanji! Good dodge. Better give him a quick solid kick to the throat, which is the throat one, right, Collier? Shouts out to all you guys that let me know during the Arlong Park arc about how all of his attacks are named after French cuts of meat, was it? Something along those lines? Oh my god, this is literally dinosaurs. This is a Triceratops, and the other one was a T-Rex. I was, like, kind of trolling, but not really, I guess. Oh no, it's a bronchiosaurus. This is fucking testing my testing my dinosaur knowledge. Uh-huh. That's why everything is bigger. I goes a huge tiger. Each island has a unique culture. Oh, this is going to be super sick. We're going to have both ends of the time spectrum. Several thousands or tens of thousands of years. That is the craziest concept ever. Different islands have different time. Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, what the hell? Thankfully, if I remember correctly, Bronchiosaurus, which is even if what that is called, are herbivores, right? Only eats vegetables. If you can somehow kill this Sanji, this will be so much meat. It's not even funny. I remember playing Dragon Ball and Goku would beat up fucking things that look like this. Great kick. Oh, three swords, three horns. <laughs> I love that. We both used the three sword technique. Is it gonna have like armored skin? Or did Zoro already handle it? It's so badass in, in anime when they sheath the sword and as soon as it clicks, the thing they cut, you know, falls. It's so badass. Okay, so whatever is this is, is not a dinosaur. That looks human. And it's right over us. Bam, bam. This island as it is as if a little garden. That's what I'll call this place. Louis Arnott explored the Bragman. Is that what that said? Louis Arnott. Huh. All right, on to episode 71. Let's do it. This thing literally looks like a giant. Wabba baba 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 baba. Uh huh. What's the answer to what? You saying wabba baba baba baba? Uh huh. Man's got a T Rex on his butt cheeks. There goes its head. Yep. I'm Bragi. The Elbath's strongest warrior. Bragi. <laughs> this has to be Bragi coming up, right? Or it's the Bronchiosaurus? Or what? Yeah, oh, I... called all his homeboys okay these things are kind of scary on the attack it's like a hydra what was hercules fighting the eight heads cut one down two more grows back this dinosaur like volcano filled island just a bunch of bronchiosaurs chasing after that that was crazy and there goes luffy bye bye him 
Never mind. He's going to come sliding right out of a... Imagine. You're sliding down the esophagus or whatever the... Yeah. And... So this is just a race of giant warriors. Grappling with long necks. I'm Dory. Wait, Bragi said he was the strongest. Oh yeah, they're the giants. Makes me feel like I'm watching Seven Deadly Sins. We just need fucking DN, you know? Now he's making a big old fire. Cooking up some big old meat. Hey, yo. They're running for their lives. Even though Bragi seems super cool. Yeah, far away from the giants. They go to a saber tooth fucking tiger. Yeah, what the hell? And they ran into a T-Rex. Okay. And they're gonna run back into Bragi or someone else. Yep. He loves him some dinosaur meat. And now everyone's running. I wonder how much alcohol Bragi needs to drink to get drunk. Probably like a fucking island full. Probably like that lake right there. Just try it. <laughs> okay, I get their fear, but he seems like he's being nice. Come on. How are we? Is it actually a year? Or how are we actually? Are we, there's no way we're waiting here a year before we can. Before we're leaving, right? I knew Luffy would get along with one of these guys, you know. I thought it was going to be Brogy. I didn't know there was more, but... And he loves the dinosaur meat. Elbaf's god, huh? Oh, really? So it's like trial by combat in Game of Thrones. I see. So, him and Baragi. This guy in his laugh, bro, I swear. So, both of them have very heavy big dinosaurs. We shall see which one is more. They're both like, look at this big ass creature I got. They're so funny. Meanwhile, the volcano is about to erupt. Yep. That's their signal to start the fight, him and Bragi. I don't know who I want to win more, Dari or Bragi. Bum, 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 bum. They don't even remember. <laughs> you don't remember either, do you, Dari? At this point, the reason doesn't matter. They've just done it so many times, it's become the routine. They just refuse to lose, you know?
Look at the shockwave that just them colliding has fucking created. Fucking probably other islands can probably hear that. God damn. You got physically knocked back by that. Right? Talk about scale. Talk about perspective. Meanwhile, we have... What the fuck? Is that Mr. Five and Miss Valentine? They're back trying to trying to get get the revenge. And now we have Mr. Five, Miss Valentine back. We also have Mr. Three and his partner. This is Mr. Three. Yup. Okay, not what I was expecting. So they're on Little Garden too. I didn't even know they were wanted as well. But now they can get the 30 million on uh, Luffy and those two. Dory the blue ogre, uh, ogre and Bragi the red ogre. Of the, what did that just say? Pirates? The giant warrior pirates? God damn. Damn! A hundred year old wanted poster. If this guy is pretty confident he can take down giants with 100 million berry bounties on their heads each, then I, this guy might be pretty good. He might be pretty strong. I'm a little nervous. All right, on the last episode of the session, number 72, let's do it. Okay, head block into the axe with the head butt into the rock, into the mountain. This truly is just a battle of two giants. Like, I, I, this is crazy. I was not expecting giants in this show. Is he just entranced by their fight or what's going on? He's chopped down like 50 trees. Yeah. Yeah, very rare you get to see an actual duel to the death with this much seriousness involved, you know? Oh, I get it. 100%. You're correct. I get where Nami's coming from as well. Like, that's all just like pride, macho, manly shit, you know? Even though, if I'm Usopp, I'm 100% watching. He wants to live his life a proud warrior like these guys. Elbaf Village. That's what they were saying. There's rules and shit, though. I'm excited. Hopefully, we can see that. I wonder who's going to win. Bragi or Dari? Are they going to kill one of, one of each other? Or is are either of them going to die from this Mr. 3 plan? What's going to happen, you know? Just pure shields into faces. Yup. That is quite the collision. They've had 73, almost 73 and a half thousand duels. And they've had almost 73 and a half thousand draws. Over a hundred years. This will literally never end. They'll keep doing this the rest of their lives. So, like, what's, uh, what are we going to do, you know? And just like that, another duel done, another duel over. And they're right back to their, you know, laughy, uplifting, goofy vibes. But then they turn it up and they get super serious when they're fighting. It's so interesting. That's what those human skulls were from? Waiting a hundred years for the, or a year for the log to store? Yeah, I mean, with all the wildlife and the creatures here, I get it. That is true. Even though I would love to go to Elbaf, get that eternal pose. I mean, that's a crazy plan, but it might be better than waiting a year.
This guy laughs like Mr. Krabs, I swear. I know, right? Welcome to living with Luffy. I do feel bad for Vivi. She has a lot of shit she needs to get done. She's stressed. I get it. Heck yeah. Go to Valhalla, you know? Proud warrior race. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, it's gotta be Mr. Five. There's nothing else that could just immediately blow up, right? A booger from Mr. Five? What is it? Oh, and now he's pissed. He thinks it was them. I mean, rightfully so, he is suspicious of Luffy and Vivi and all them. But that's why Mr. Three's plan is so smart, you know? I mean, he's got to stand up for his rights, you know? He's got to stand up for himself. Jesus Christ, look at the scale. It's like Shadow of the Colossus. Lick play. He's gonna catapult himself and hit him with a, either a big fist or a big foot. Or his head himself is a huge catapult rocket. I mean, even if Luffy's crushed, technically he still should be okay. Dory's not dead, right? I mean, his insides exploded, though. That's not something that's, like, ever good. Okay, and so then Bragi will have enough of an advantage where win. Yep. He makes a valid point, especially when we're lacking on power. We use our smarts and our brain to make up for it, you know? Big crimes via cheap tricks. I don't like it. I don't like cheap tricks. A baby's triceratops. Aw, there's mama. Saber tooth? Okay, definitely not big enough to win. I'm curious. He's not wrong. But little does he know about Dory's injury. This guy is going through it, man. I feel bad. No, is it gonna end right here? Oh, it is. This is. I was literally like, why is it? Why is it? Cut, why is it staying so long on Luffy's face? Okay, so we made it to Little Garden. This is quite, quite interesting. I am very glad with the introduction of two giants. We got Bragi and Dory. We also got the introduction to Miss Golden Week. Was that her name? And then Mr. Three. I need to meet Mr. Two and Mr. One. Very, very curious. But I want to know, because he says big 
crimes via cheap trick so he's very smart but does he have a lot of power to back that up and let, if he's caught out does he have devil fruit powers he seems very creative i'm very curious and then i love the warrior pride of elbaf i love how inspired usopp is from them and obviously our goal is to get to alabasta we have to help vivi asap i completely understand that but i would love sometime down the line to go visit elbaf and to mention hey we were we we knew dory and Bragi. they're like, oh dory and they're all gonna <laughs> you know like i'm super excited like the world building on this is damn near insane i have so many names already i mean don't get me wrong i am we are a good bit through the show we're only on the second opening though look at my first page of notes guys like and literally i'm, I'm turning on the side because i'm running out you know like this is crazy i'm loving this so far hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon uncuts early access eight episodes one week ahead don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out